here to put the can in your tent. <laughs> After this, you'll be able to say, I can sew on a button. Hi, Chanel here with the new addition to Future Fashion Designer's Sew Bit Playlist, bringing you the fashion sewer tips, tools, and techniques bit by bit. So today I'm going to cover something really simple. Well, it's at least it's simple to someone who can sew. So I do understand if you can't sew, it's not simple. Sewing on a button. I'm going to take your I can't sew on a button to I can sew on a button. Buttons are simple. You gotta think about the concept of it. You just gotta attach it. There's usually like some holes in the button. Uh, there's These are called shank buttons where the hole is on the back side and a needle and a thread. You just gotta connect it like that. So I guess there's a lot of kind of how to thread the needle, knot it. There's some steps in there, but just think about it logically. You gotta, there's a hole on like any button. I've never seen a button without one. All right, check that out. I don't think I have. <laughs> I really love this button. It's a round, it's round. I don't know if you can see it with my hands in the way. And the, there's a hole right there. So it's like strange. It sits on your blouse or top like this and it's just a, a circle. So buttons come in, there's all different varieties. I just want to show you how to simply sew on a few of these buttons. And I didn't do a manicure on my hands today, so please excuse them. They're actually, I've got, I think I've got cuts on all of my fingers. <laughs> One of them, I went to the knife block and went like this and the other knife scratched me right there. It's been hurting, but so please excuse all that. I'm gonna show you how to sew on a button. All right, we're gonna sew these four buttons on in continuous row. We got the two, hole, the four, the shank, and then whatever this is called, I'm gonna call it a flat shank. Just got that hole right through here. Now, make sure you get a long enough piece of thread. I actually got about 45 inch piece of thread to do all four of these. Um, usually you might do one at a time, but all depends but you also have to make sure you leave enough thread at the end when you're done sewing it to um, make sure you can do a knot so also to thread in the eye of the needle you want to look for the needles that are the longer ones with large eyes and if you put it over white paper it's really easy just to thread right there so you just put it there and you do a double row of thread here that's the strongest and then you put a knot on the end right here so I loop it right here turn it over and under with the loop and then I pull it um, I found trying to teach knots is difficult some people do the roll around the finger and flip it through that way I can't seem to get it that way although it kind of worked that time Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> but something you got to practice a little bit with. So I've got a long thread here. You also, if, I don't know if you've ever seen this beeswax, you can um, draw the thread through here. It coats it. It gives a little extra coating of wax, which will help it not the thread not tangle up when you're stitching it. So to start, we're going to um, always start, like if this was the top of your garment you were sewing, you put the needle underneath right here and you pull it through and you have your knot at the bottom just like that so up on the top so we're going to start we're going to sew this uh, like the back side right here going to put the needle through the first hole right there and then you're going to bring the needle back down the second hole right there and then you're going to put the needle into the fabric close to that uh, where it came up, the thread where it came up. And you just pull it, and there you go. Now to do it again, you're gonna go back up close to the hole. I think where most people go off is they just kind of put it anywhere, but you actually want to stay right where, you know, that knot is. And then you pull it back, and then you go up, and then you look for the hole, put the needle in the hole, 
and pull it up right there so now you're up and out here now you're going to put the needle down through the second hole and you're going to pull it down like that do this about three or four times so this actually came over here that's okay you're just going to go you can kind of see between the layers here where the hole is put it there right there and then go back down through be all clustered in this little area now to make a knot I'm going to pull the needle up through here actually I'm going to do what's called a shank um, I'm going to put the needle through that layer there bring it up here make sure all my thread is out then I'm going to take this thread and twist it around the, under the button like that kind of gives it a little extra strength right there then I'm going to take the needle, grab some of this thread through here, create a loop like this. And I'm going to put my needle through the loop here, and I'm going to pull it. And I'm going to go through the loop again. Sometimes you can unthread it like that. You're going to actually go backwards, but you go through it twice. Then you pull that thread, and it creates a knot, just like that. So this is actually knotted. Now I'm going to take the needle and pull it back through the back layer like that and then I can cut it off right there and then the button is done. There's button number one. So I'm going to move up, do button number two. I'm going to move my needle up this way. It's just to show you. Um, now I'm going to do the four hole and that is you can either just, you just bring it up through here, either go crisscross or just, you know, each one, whatever design you want. So you're going to pull it through here, right? So you go that way. Then you're going to put the needle close to where it came out, like that. Pull it from the back side. You see this move right there. So it's like that. You're out the back side. Put the needle up through the bottom here. And uh, this one came right up there. Sometimes you have to search for the hole. That's okay. You just put it through there. And then I'm going to go down like this. But give it a little bit of a slack so we can put a thread shank in there too. Don't really glue it to the fabric. And you're going to go down and come back up here, close to where the needle's been going up and down, through one of the holes, and then back down. So you do that a few times, whatever whatever design you want to do, <laughs> crisscross, cross, or, or back and forth. Then right here, I got a little bit of a slack right here, you can see. I'm going to pull the needle again, the same way I did the last one, pull it up here so the needle's coming in between the layers through here. Then I'm going to take these, circle, circle, circle around like that. I'm going to take the needle, go through here, got a loop here, it's all twisted, that's where that beeswax really helps, pull it through once, and I'm going to go through it again, do it twice, Oops. Let's see I just undid it, I think, <laughs> and that happens sometimes because you don't want to twist, you don't know, so do it once again, through it again, sometimes I got to do it twice, Oop, got it, okay, and pull, now it's a knot, ta-da! Okay, there's two buttons. Now to start the next one, I'm actually going to put it, start under. I'm going to come up the other end right here, so just like that. Now I'm going to sew on this shank button here. It's got that little hole right here. And I'm going to come in through that little hole there. Put it down here, and I'm going to put my needle close to where the needle came up. Like that. And pull it, make sure this don't get caught. Here we go. The thread got caught around here. Just gonna make sure. It goes all the way down. It's done like that. Comes up like this. I'm gonna put my needle again close to where it came up. And I'm gonna come up between the button and the fabric. Right here, come up that way. Go through the shank. Pull it through. And then back down close to where it came up again. You do that three or four times. And then 
let's say I did it three or four times, now I'm going to take, to make a knot, I'm going to go just take a little bite of fabric here with the needle, create a loop right here. So I'm going to put my needle through the loop, come back around, do the loop again, and pull. There's a knot. This one I might actually do it because there's no thread shank on there. I might do it twice. So, do it through here. Once through here, again, and pull. Alright, so that button is on nice and strong. Now I'm going to go through, start again, do the next button. Get another spot here. You always start up at the top. Now this little tricky little button has that flat shank here so the needle goes right through here. So I'm going to go through here. Maybe just like leave it up here. Find where this thread's going to go through here. Go in the bottom. You can see it's going right here close. Get it to the fabric. And then right here you're going to go through and find. See, actually I might go across this way. Got to pull it up here and find the hole right here. Through there. Bring the needle up, and then take a peek under here, we're between the layers here. Pull it back down, make sure the thread goes all the way through. So it's got through here, and then through here again. <laughs> I'm going to go up again, do this several times. Sometimes you have to just bring the whole needle all the way through, bring it through the hole again back down to the fabric through here and back out the other end right, to the back okay now also whenever you're sewing on buttons make sure you have enough thread to make a knot I've seen so many people that bring it right to the end it looks like this and there's nothing to make a knot with and the knots probably the most important part because if you don't get that secure on there it just falls off so right here I'm going to do another one of my little knots. These are the funnest knots to make. They're so simple. Get a little bit of fabric there, a little bit of the thread. Pull it through once. Pull it through again. Make sure it's connected. Pull. There's your knot. On here, I might do it again. Second one. Through it once. Through it twice. Pull. And then you're done. Pull it through one more time. Clip it off. There's your buttons, all four of them. Those should stay on for a few years. <laughs> and that's how simple sewing buttons on. You just gotta practice a bit, and they're pretty simple. Well, there you have it. Now, you can sew on a button. Now you're part of the other part of the world that can sew on a button. Let me know in the comments below if you learned how to sew a button completely new or maybe I give you a tip on how to sew on a button better that you didn't know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next Sew Bit.